<laughs> Why can't you get it on an airline? You know? And, and, and speaking of which, how about that airline Back in my food? day, we had one kind of plastic surgery. Your brother breaks your nose on Christmas Day, you hope it grows back different. That's actually, that's a real, that's a real time drama. Happened to me. Yeah. I'll tell you about it on the show. Remember when you go to get bar mitzvah and you get your nose broken by the rabbi and you just hope that it goes back in a nice shape? That's like a struggle I don't want to deal with anymore. Oh. Mm. I feel like a fairy. Would you like to buy a nice little cat? Oh, cool. Ready? Yeah. Hi, I'm the brother who drowned behind your house and you still see him when you close your eyes. Trixie Mattel. And I'm that brother's ghost mom, still on the set of Gangnam Style in South Korea. <laughs> Katya. And welcome to oh. the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. No, nope. cat. Meow. Pussy. Oh. It was, it was, it was. <laughs> I want to talk to you about a phenomenon that's become a, a, something I'm very aware of here in Los Angeles, which is plastic surgery. Why is genetic it reassignment of the features on your face and body. Wait, did you say genetic reassignment? Basically. No, that's planning. That's before. No, I mean, yes. you're make-believing that that's the nose you were born with. It's just like the American dream playing out on your face. Oh, completely. Especially at my gym. Oh, my fucking God. These guys, they are like... Are they fully Botoxed and fully... Well, their skin is so lifted. snatched that it looks like a plastic pulled tight. So yeah. their skin is like too shiny. And then oh, they get yeah. on that like HGH. So they become like a low key bobblehead because their head just gets bigger. Add back knee and I'm on board. You know Sharon Clueless with the outfits? What if you could do that with your face every morning? I want to look like Sylvester Stallone. Who and doesn't? then Jackie Stallone. I've gotten Botox on a boat, a botched, I got botched Botox on a boat. That's three Bs. Yeah, which frankly is too many for my liking. Oh, if you feel comfortable saying how much was a, a shot of Botox? Seven. Hundred dollars! And it didn't work. YouTube how to get any of that sh done and you'll rethink it. I want my nose done. They're gonna cut the skin around your nose. Pull that back, Maria! Yeah. And then they go in there and they just like, I don't know. Well, they scrape it out, they hammer it down, they stuff it with doggy chow, whatever they need to do. Do you think if I have my fat sucked out, I will just have a six pack that's been there the whole time? Like, kind of like that friend from childhood you fall in love yeah. with, but you don't notice that you've been in love your whole life. Yeah, like in the, um, the movies where the rain it gets rainy and they kiss. <laughs> For me, like, because I'm not actually a woman, I know that's so shocking. I know that's so shocking. So you're not a woman? Yeah. I know even the to voice. Who? <laughs> to every single person with working vision. I know. <laughs> and I look in the mirror and I say, wait, I know myself. I, I have a dick. When I first moved to Los Angeles, I was with my manager and we got a call in the car and it was like, cause I got an email that was like, we have an exciting television opportunity for Trixie. And I was like, it's all fucking happening. So I get a call in the car. I'm in the car with my manager and she picks up the phone. She's like, yes, I do represent Trix Mattel. Oh yes, TV show, which one is it? Which and then my manager it? on the phone grabs my leg and starts squeezing. And she's like, uh-huh. It's Jeopardy. Uh, we would not be interested at that time. It's it was Jeopardy. fucking botched. They were like, what work has oh, she done? Look at that face. Oh, the plastic surgery makeover Because they, they saw me in oh. makeup and they were like, what she had done? They, oh, they said on. either, what does she have done? Or let's do an episode where we give her work to look more like Trixie Mattel. What would you do? Where but, on my forehead would you relocate my eyelid to? Yeah, they'd have to turn you into a cubist painting. Pretty like, much. You'd have to look, you'd have to be Picasso. Er they would remove my head and just go, jack-o'-lantern. Wow. You look great. I would look like, uh, hey, have you ever wanted to not have a head, but be a, a jack-in-the-box head with like the nose and the hat? Jack. So getting older is um, doesn't happen overnight, you know. It, I know. Plot twist. Uh, you can kill a cat overnight, though. You know that phrase? There's more than one way to skin a cat. That's oh. about getting your face done. Don't they cut your hairline to pull your face back? Oh, there's there's plenty of techniques. Yeah, the traditional way was the facelift to yank, and you have that stretched feline look. That's what I see all the time in West Hollywood. It's these guys on the ellipticals who are like, yes, my mother was a feline cougar, and my <laughs> father was a hefty bag. <laughs> That's exactly it. It's the, yeah. And Boom. it's like all these guys in the gym who are actually like 25, and yeah. then you are 75, but snatched for the gods, and you're like, 25, me too. Yeah. But don't you feel like for women too, if you've had a lot of work done, oh, you don't it. have an option to not wear makeup. No, because then you'll just lose the gig and then it's like, you can't kind of fight the system when there's 40 other like crazy, thirsty women willing to like kill their own kids for the job. Since you're a drag queen who kind of uses your natural features, do you feel pressured to stay young looking? No, spackle over sandpaper. Okay. I mean, come on. It's like, it's, a, it's an actual mask. It's an actual mask. I don't know what you're mask. talking about. <laughs> 
That's the thing, I think I've done it right because I will never need plastic surgery because if I wear this much makeup forever, I will be 75 hosting RuPaul's Drag Race and no one will know because I will look the same age. If you keep wearing that much makeup, you'll probably die of like lead poisoning in three years. Do people have to spend a lot of time in recovery? Like if you get your, I don't know, a yes! an eye oh. lift, how long do you have to? Oh, cause you look horrifying before you start to look better. I went to school with a girl who got a breast reduction in high school because she was so yeah. little and her boobs were like this and she had like back pain all the time. Yeah. Is that what you did? Yeah, thighs, sides. I had a lot of extra fatty deposits on my obliques. Well, people don't know this about me. I have really huge arms. Yeah, she but tones it down on the camera. Like, I don't want to get surgery, so I'll just take my hair and just like, <laughs> and like, this one in. Yeah, you Anna. went from Stallone to Aniston and like, if you want plastic surgery, I do support you. Just and be I careful. And I sell it. Hi, I'm Veronica, and I'm from the Plastic Surgery Headquarters in Bethesda, Maryland. Do you need a nip or a tuck today? $800 special, anything you need done. Well, no sorry, anesthesia. Women, I think, have a higher pressure than men, obviously. Oh, yeah. I mean, what straight men get worked at? Well, well, that's the thing that I think is interesting about Hollywood. Like you mentioned, with gay folks and some straight guys, they go through the same thing, and the hairline is, the hairline is the, the Achilles heel. I'm a firm believer in this. Ask yourself this. Has anyone ever been hot because they have hair? And well, has anyone yes. ever been gross because they don't have hair? No. Yes, yes and no, though. Like, Harry Styles, hair, no hair, it's a difference. No Harry Styles. No. Ah! No Harry Styles, just- He doesn't style it. He oh just lets God. it dry. <laughs> What's the opposite ah! of Harry? Just- Bald style. Bald style. <laughs> yeah. I know some people have gotten the hair plug surgery and it's, it's pretty good. It's a crapshoot though. It's very expensive. I don't know. I have a crochet hook at home and a pocket of crepe wool and I just don't have the time. I'll do lace beards on my hairline. <laughs> and then a beanie. You have to clip it in, but it's worth it. What she'll do is she'll take a prosthetic mustache, cut it in half uh -huh. and put one on each hairline. And they're not even blonde like your hair. Uh -uh. Dark brown. Girl, matchy matchy is so 2008. Mm -hmm. Or 2000 and late as Fergie might have said. And you're like, they're low lights. Mm -hmm. They're low lights. Um, low my... lights for a low life. That's great. That's poetry. <laughs> so you have a gun to your head or a knife to my neck. That's so sharp. I know, but that's why it didn't actually make contact with my neck. I can see, see you from ah! my house. What are you gonna get? You have to get plastic surgery. I'm gonna blow your head off. Okay, is there a budget? So no. If, okay, no budget. All right, we're gonna go with um, hair plugs in the front. We're gonna go with oops, sorry, Botox. Sorry, what, what that don't happened? touch my gun. <laughs> we're gonna go with Botox in the forehead around the crow's feet. We're gonna do uh, filler in the top lip, the right side a little bit more to even out the symmetry, and then we're gonna go um, with like an all over tattoo spray tan but that I can change when I want to. So it's gotta be good technology. You can't get all over tattoo. Why not? Ladies and gentlemen, we're the stage. All over tattoo. tattoo. Now here's the thing that I want to share with you. I, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think surgery is going to become more realistic looking and more affordable, and therefore more everyone. It's well, it already has. That's just digital. Well, also, like think about the Hunger Games, which is like kind of a parable about the future of the human race. Mm -hmm. And the rich people in that book series all have like cat implants, whiskers, colored skin. Oh, sure, yeah. So as we, as normal poor people are like, I'm gonna get my lip done. Rich people are gonna be like, pins and needles out of my head or whatever. Well, you I know what, know. actually that makes, I can, I can clearly see that because it's like, okay, I've turned into Avatar and I moved to Mars. That's, Completely. Yeah, that, that makes sense there. Because people are gonna be like, I got my eyes blue. And someone's gonna be like, I got my whole body blue. Yeah, and then you, there's no frame of reference to tell whether that person is old or not. Also, we'll be able to do things like take a pill and change your hair color. Oh, I wish. Like in Total Recall with the doot, 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 the receptionist. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah. I wish you could do that with your face. Like, I wish I could do that with your face. Bob Saget, Bob Hoskins, <gasps> yeah, Bob Dole. At 50, I will reevaluate all, everything I've decided about plastic surgery. It's all subject to change. Next because month. I, well, <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, if you're gonna get surgery done, do it right. Well, what is, how do you do it right? Um, do, you want it? do it in a way that makes you happy, but also be aware of the fact that we might all fucking notice and talk about it. And also, yeah, and at the end of the day, if you don't have enough money to eat, don't get your face yanked. And also don't deny it. If we all can tell, don't mm. be like, what do you mean, I got a tan. No bitch, your nose is a different shape. Yeah or just deflect attention. Wear a f***ing hat. And don't forget to subscribe to Wow, wow Presents. Meow. Is, meow is the cat noise, right? Yeah. Good. This is a fat cat, mama. <laughs>